Doug Lamarice and Stephen Means outside the Woody Hayes Athletic Center on National Signing Day. We just talked to Ryan Day and the five new assistant coaches and a bunch of the early enrollees. There's a lot going on at Ohio State, but it is signing day, and a couple things happened. The stuff that happened with dudes signing or not signing here, how did that work out for the Buckeyes? Yeah, Doug Nestor, who was one of the earliest guys to commit in the class of 2019, he's been committed for almost two years, decided he flipped to Virginia Tech. Um, he quoted, quoted in the Herald, that Herald Dispatch in, in West Virginia, that – it's closer to home, I guess. Like it's only like three hours away from where he's from in West Virginia. So he'll they lose him, but they do get Enoch Vahimi from Hawaii. So that's a interesting get. A guy who's from clear across the country, across the Pacific Ocean, and they bring him all the way to Ohio State. Now he'll be here for a year, but then like after the season, Ryan Day said that he, him and his family will discuss whether or not he'll go on this mission trip that he's supposed to go on for two years. And we're still waiting to hear from Dewan Jones from Indiana to see if they can add that 85th person to their roster. So to reset, we had Ohio State at 83 scholarships before today. Ryan Day confirmed that. Not getting Nestor, and it's Vamahi. You were saying the name to yourself before we came on the video, and then you said Vamihi. Enoch Vamahi. Listen, they, they, the big thing is offensive line, right? Ryan Day talked about that a lot. Dewan Jones, who the guy, they, they said they're going to get one more guy. We think that's who it's going to be tonight um, from Indianapolis. Vamahi is a top 150 national guy, but he's not going to play next year as a true freshman. And then if he goes on this Mormon mission for two years, he's not going to play for Ohio State until 2022. So they still have some depth issues on the offensive line. I think they did the best they could to try to solve them. They did not solve all of them. That's going to have to be a target for them moving forward. But overall, Ryan Day was reemphasizing the whole class. They signed 15 guys um, in December. They're going to add two more now. So this class is going to be 17. They're probably not going to add a grad transfer. I appreciate that Ryan Day was talking about numbers so much, was not even delving into oversigning at all. So it sounds like they're not going to add a grad transfer. If we wrap it up now, and it's hard to do this, this late signing day with the early signing period taking all the juice, how do we evaluate this first Ryan Day class? It was half Urban Meyer, it's half day, 17 guys overall. They're not going to be the best class in the Big Ten. What do you think? I think because of the simple standpoint of one, they just didn't have the numbers available to be able to add the 20-plus guys that we've been grown accustomed to seeing at Ohio State. I think it's a pretty solid class. you got a five-star guy from 15 minutes down the road. you got another guy, a transfer, who was a number two quarterback in the country when he was coming out of high school. You got it. So you have your starting quarterback for the next year. Years. I think Ryan Day has put himself on the right path as far as recruiting. I think Garrett Wilson's a guy that we all think is going to have a major impact right away. And then, and then when you look at the classes going forward from 2020 to 2021 and how he's kind of set himself up, he's made it very clear that he wants to bring in five-star guys from Ohio, from the state of Ohio. Those are priority number one on his list, and he's done that so far. Stephen Means and Doug Maurice, a lot coming from what we talked about today at Ohio State. Signing day was just a part of it, but an important part of it as the Buckeyes build for the future. He's Stephen. I'm Doug. We'll see you later at Cleveland.com.